Hello, everyone. Talon Gillespie here. Welcome back to my channel. And today, I have another Scooby-Doo comparison review for you. And yes, the reason I said Scooby-Doo comparison is because we have another Scooby-Doo comparison. Well, this time, we have the live-action Scooby-Doo movies. So, here's the first one. Here it is. Here's the front, the spine, the other spine, the top, and the back. Which featuring is the soundtrack album includes recordings by Outcast featuring Killer Mike and Sleepy Brown, Shaggy, Sugar Ray, Lil Romeo, and the Bahama Men. Here's the tape right here with the ink label. And we have the sequel, Scooby-Doo 2, Monsters Unleashed. Here's the front, the spine, the other spine, the top, and the back. Which also, this has like a pamphlet. I'll show this at the end. All right, so here is the tape right here with the ink label. I bought this back from summer of 2023 all right all right let's get to comparing all right so let's see well so here's the differences this is the first movie from 2002 and this is the second one from 2004 so basically there's some new characters in this movie so they kept the the same actors, just like in the first movie, except this doesn't have the this doesn't have the never before seen footage, but this one does. So according to here, it says includes never before seen footage, which which includes the music video and the behind the scenes. So yeah, that's why I, after I got this back in 2022 by the way, so this was my first ever Scooby-Doo tape. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so for this, let's let's go over the characters real quick. So we have Daphne, Scooby, Shaggy, Velma, and Fred right there. And there's the Lunar Ghost right there. And on the spine, there's Scooby and Shaggy on both sides right there. And there's the Wonder Brothers logo. So... The Wonder Brothers logo is also on Scooby-Doo 2. So that's actually the same logo. So they actually match. Here's the top. So let's talk about the top. So, so the first Scooby-Doo movie logo is actually green. While this one is yellow. And on the back, you can see there's Scooby and Shaggy right there. And it looks like Shaggy's doing this. <laughs> that's pretty silly. And there's three scenes from the movie and this one has three scenes as well right there plus including the fourth one with scooby-doo on there so this one has three scenes this one has four so that's pretty interesting so this one says zoinks you know for uh, shaggy's catchphrase and this one says fun for the whole family i love it all right, so I'm going to read both of these, and then we'll get to the tape, okay? So it says here, Zoinks! Two years after a clash of egos forced Mystery Inc. to close its doors, Scooby and his clever crime-solving cohorts Fred, Daphne, uh, Shaggy, and Velma are individually summoned to Spooky Island to investigate a series of paranormal incidents at the ultra ultra hip spring break hotspot, which includes the characters for Scooby, well, Scooby, Shaggy, Velma, Fred, and Daphne, which includes the actors for Freddie Perens Jr. Matthew Lillard, 
Sarah Mitchell Jiller, I think that's her name, and Linda Cardini, if that's how you pronounce it, consider that his way cool theme park, his way cool theme park might truly be haunted. Spooky Island owner Amelie Mondavarius, which is the actor Rowan Ottokinson. I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's Antikinson. I'm not sure if that's right, but oh well. Tries to reunite those nervously meddling detectives to solve the mystery before he. His supernatural secret scares away the the coward the college cowards. Okay, Scooby and the gang will have to overcome their personal differences and forget everything they think they know about fake ghouls and phony creatures to crack the case, save themselves, and possibly the word rut row. You know. Roll. That's a catchphrase for Scooby Doo. Now, for the same actors, they're in this movie as well. So there's Fred, Daphne, Velma, and Scooby and Shaggy. But instead of the monsters, like for the, for example, the Lunar Ghost, we have the Pterodactyl Ghost, the Tar Monster, um, the Scooby Diver Ghost. I'm not sure what this is called, and the Skeleton Monster. And on the spine here, you see Scooby-Doo doing the pace sign like this. And on the back, it looks like Scooby-Doo is like dressed up in a 80s or 90s outfit. I'm not sure, but that's his disguise from the part of the movie. Well, part of the movie. And there's three scenes right there. Okay. So, for this, it says... <clears throat> Jinkies. So that's a catchphrase for Velma. Jinkies. They're the most monsters ever gathered. Mix those crevazoids with Scooby-Doo and the rest of the Mystery Inc. gang. And you have the recipe for family fun. A masked villain wrecks mayhem on the city of Coolsville with a monster machine that creates real-life versions of Mystery Inc.'s former foes. Former foes mean, like, uh, familiar people, like, familiar faces. Like the the 10,000 Volt Ghost, the Cotton Candy Glob, the Skeleton, and the Pterodactyl Ghost. So Fred, Daphne, Shaggy, Velma and Scooby-Doo launch an investigation into the monster outbreak that leaves Shaggy and Scooby questioning their roles in Mystery Inc., eager to prove their detective skills. The ever-ravenous duo comes up with a secret plan to solve the mystery all by you know, themselves. Can the gang unrival their most challenging case? So Seth Green, Alicia Silverstone, and Peter Boyle join the cast for some zoinked out monster madness. Do see it. <laughs> okay, so pretty cool. So this movie is ready PG. Same thing with the first one. So both movies are ready PG. And they're made by... Molustic. If that's pronounced. So it's... Hold on. I'm trying to double check. Uh, Molustic Media Group. There we go. Molustic Media Group. So... This is also made by Warner Brothers, of, of course. And for Scooby-Doo 2, this is the running time, 93 minutes. 
And this one says... Eighty six minutes plus the extras are sixteen minutes. So let's take a look at the tapes real quick. Okay. <clears throat> so here are the two tapes. So this is the first Scooby Doo movie, and this is the second Scooby Doo movie. So comparing the film strips, they're basically the same. I'm not sure, but as you can tell, if you look on here, there's no Molisic Media Group logo on there. Just the Scooby-Doo and Wonder Brothers logo. But Scooby-Doo 2, Monsters Unleashed, on this tape it does. So, that's very interesting. Uh, okay. And for the print dates, for the first Scooby-Doo movie, this is the print date. August 29th, 2002, and Scooby-Doo 2, Monsters Unleashed, is August 17th, 2004. Okay, so that's pretty cool. And in case you don't know from my last comparison videos that I did from the past, I did the comparison of the DVD version of the first Scooby-Doo movie and the second one. So I already did the comparison videos of these two on DVD, by the way. Well, on VHS and DVD. And, yeah. So, I compared to these two with the DVDs, of course. So, let me put this back in. Oh, no. Before I, before I forget, here's the insert that came with the, the tape of Scooby-Doo 2. So, it says here, Zoinks, get offers inside. Okay. So, these are the three monsters from the movie. Okay. But what's really cool about this, in Scooby-Doo 2, Monsters Unleashed, do you guys know the Looney Tunes? Well, the Tasmanian Devil made a cameo in this movie. Well, this movie to be exact. So, the Tasmanian Devil made a cameo in this second movie. After Scooby-Doo drank the potion, he turns into the Tasmanian Devil. Do you guys know that? It was my favorite part of the movie where Scooby-Doo turns into the Tasmanian Devil. All right, back to the insert. So let's open this up. And let's see. Um, So there's different movies that you can get. So I do have the Polar Express on DVD, but not on VHS. Coming soon, later in the summer of 2024, is Aloha Scooby-Doo. And there's some of the other Scooby-Doo movies that you can get, but... The series is called What's New, Scooby-Doo? <laughs> okay. And there's the second Kangaroo Jack movie, Good Day USA, which is coming soon. And there's the first Scooby-Doo movie on DVD, which I do have. And the other side is the subscription form for the VHS tapes and DVDs of your favorite movies. So it only features Aloha Scooby-Doo, What's New, Scooby-Doo, Kangaroo Jack, and... The live action Scooby Doo movie from 2002. But these coupons are actually expired from December 31st, 2004. So that was a long time. Okay, but I'll still look for Aloha Scooby Doo on DVD sometime, but I'll get into that soon. All right, so let me put that back in. All right. Is it in there? Yep, it's in there. All right, so that's this comparison video. So that was the, the new Scooby-Doo comparison. And let me know in the comments section down below and tell me what was your favorite part on one of these live-action Scooby-Doo movies? Because for the first movie, I really liked like the bonus scene like where Scooby and Shaggy eat like hot peppers, you know, and for my favorite part from Scooby-Doo 2, Monsters Unleashed, I liked it when Scooby-Doo turns into the Tasmanian Devil, so that's pretty cool, and special shout out to Coatster 7 because he's a big fan of Scooby-Doo, so 
Coats to 5007. If you're watching this, I hope you enjoy this because I know you like Scooby-Doo and I know you have these tapes because I'm still collecting other ones, by the way. And uh, yeah. All right. So that will do it for this video. And please like, comment, subscribe, and ding the notification bell for new videos. And stay tuned. More comparison videos are on the way. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, Novel. See you later. Scooby-Dooby-Doo!